Okay, so now in this example, let's say I have this current composition with these two particulars and I want to uh, integrate uh, some 3D object inside. So it would be great if I could uh, generate a skybox output from this composition. So go to File, Script and Skybox Creator. This is essentially the same process, but here Skybox Creator is clever and he knows that uh, I want to create Skybox from current composition because I have uh, an open composition here. So create Skybox from current composition and here you can find all the composition of your project. This is composition 1, so I choose composition 1. The size and the frame rate, all the information, of course I cannot change uh, it here because uh, the composition already has all this information. I will uh, let I'm using 3D plugins check because there are some 3D plugins inside uh, particular. So generate skybox output. Up. I uh, problem. Composition is not square size. Clipping may occur. So this is a problem. Uh, skybox creator uh, requires a square size of the composition. If not, you will have uh, some issues like that. So, no problem, only solution. I will redo the operation, okay, put it in the trash. And what I have to do uh, is to prepare my uh, composition to be interpreted correctly by Skybox Creator. So, I will keep this one as main comp, okay. I duplicate this main comp and I will call it Skybox. So this main comp will uh, receive all uh, the, uh, the 3D models and the uh, reflection map. I go in the skybox one. I change the size of the composition and I put 1080 by 1080. Okay, this is now a square size. No problem for the skybox creator to gen generate my skybox output. Okay. So it's okay, I have a nice cubic map and as we know now, uh, Element 3D prefer equi-rectangular map, so I will choose equi-rectangular. So this is it. I have my equi-rectangular map. Uh, as in this, the first example, I will pre-render it for better results, so I come back when it's done. Okay, so now it's done. I've, I have exported the TIFF sequence and I put my TIFF sequence in my main comp. I mask it and I'm gonna create my element 3D. Okay, and add, of course, element. Okay. So, for this example, I will use, first of all, first step, go to custom layers, now we know, custom texture maps, and layer 1, I will use skybox output as texture maps. Second step, go to scene window, go to create, and I'm gonna create, oh, just for this second example, I will use uh, model, maybe would be better and we are, I will use the statue model okay because uh, because it's nice okay first of all I go to environments and choose my custom layer as environment and as you can see uh, the statue already uh, has some metal diffused material so from it's good and okay so now I can see my uh, statue here and I'm gonna change the position in, in Z like that. Okay, so I can see my model. Uh, I will uh, oops, uh, save and I will render it just we can see how it works. I come back when it's done. So we can see the results. Uh, the diffusion of the material uh, makes it a little bit hard to see. 
no problem go to scene setup material metal diffused and i am going to change the glossiness and put it like 80 percent okay and as you can see we can uh, see better what happened so same thing come back when it's done we now have a nice result we can see the reflection on the model uh, this was the second example use a current composition as a skybox and i think it's a very very good uh, way to to work the ability to use uh, some 3d plugins like like particular trap code form or plexus or other one uh, it's very cool thank you very much metal and thank you for watching